Okay, Shalom. Okay, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, but Shem Yahweh Shai. Rock of the Yahweh, Rock of the Yahweh Shai, Rock of the Yahweh, but Shem Yahweh Shai, Rock of the Rakakadash. Okay, double honors to our apostles, the Great Millstone, elders of GMS. And salutation and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect of the children of Israel, people of Negro and any descent. To make up the elect of the children of Israel, the Israelite foreigners, who Yahweh but Shem Yahweh can scattered amongst the other nations, and, and but have the spirit of Yahweh but Shem Yahweh and waking up to this wisdom and understand His word in truth and sincerity. Okay, Israelite foreigners, it's like it, um, Israelites who's making up and filling up the gaps of the highways and the byways, fellow laborers. It's pushing the truth and truth and sincerity. Okay, and you women, you are with as well. Just humble in yourself. Okay. Um, scriptures cover a lot of these things that are going on, especially with the men of our people. You know, in which we a lot of we we uh, like to shed light on how a lot of them are just pretty much uh, scared or uh, simply just straight up lazy you know, you know a lot of them are too worldly and too busy caught up in the affairs of this world to even consider you know serving y'all but Jimmy y'all shy serving the lord you know a lot of them are just, like I said, just simply uh, 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 carrying that feminine, feminine broad vibration, you know, like the scripture says, you know, men will be as women in these days. And, and that's what you're witnessing. You're witnessing a lot of men behaving like women are just led by their emotions, and, you know. Led, led by their emotions with absolutely no wisdom, knowledge, nor understanding, just like the woman. See, that's the nature of a woman. That's how Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai made this woman. You know, Job, uh, not particularly what scripture it is, think it's around uh, 28, 29, somewhere in there, I can get it. You know, the woman's lack of understanding you know, she lacked the most. I didn't give her wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Here, let me get that. You know, and these men are behaving the same exact way. You know, it's it's been a flip, and not really a flip because the women, they're not men, though they're still be trying to behave like they're men. You know, they they got that demon of um, that's a demon, a, a demon that uh, uh, pushing that vibration of. Uh, of a feminist that's a demon you know but the scripture says here um um which word should i do wisdom or understanding Un here we go and it's literally this yeah. joe 12 3rd joe 26 28 32, sorry, no, it's further up. <laughs> here we go, 39. Did I say 29? 39. It says here, because Yahweh hath deprived her of wisdom, neither hath he imparted to her understanding. He didn't wire her that way to have wisdom nor understanding. You know, I mean, the, the blessing thing is the women are waking up and humbling themselves to this word. Um, they, they've been given that, that gift of faith and, and um, that they can humble themselves and, and, uh, and you know, and that's a form of having um, understanding that, you know, you're humbling yourself and knowing that the Israelite man is coming back into their lot. But the truth of it is the majority of the men are going to remain in their lot, which is uh, still in that deep slumber, man, that deep sleep. You know, a deep, deep sleep. Um, let me get that scripture. Loving to slumber. 
and they love to slumber. It's comfortable. I'm not sure it's just slumber. This is a couple of scriptures I have in mind here. Um, um, let's see what we have here. Hmm. Slumber is quite, mentioned quite a bit in here. <laughs> mm -mm. Okay, let's see. Which one do I want here? There's that Isaiah 56 and 10. That's that popular one. You know, speaking of the... Um, these wicked pastors and their and their uh, their deacons and whoever's following them, those watchmen, uh, the shepherds slumber. Here we go. Thy, thy shepherds slumber, O King of Israel. Thy nobles shall dwell in the dust. Thy people is scattered upon the mountains, and no man gathereth them. Uh, oh, here we go. Matthew's twenty-five and five. While the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. <laughs> and at midnight there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom cometh, go ye out to meet him. Then all those virgins arose and, tri and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said unto the wise, Give us of your oil, for our lamps are going out. And that's funny how we're coming, up we're coming upon this time where these same lazy individuals and you know, they weren't laboring and ain't thinking about laboring because they're living their best life, man. They're chasing these women. They're paper chasing. You know, they're waiting for that last moment. And that's in the scriptures how most actually mentioned that, you know, um, watching for the keepers of the house that watcheth. I, I'm roughly paraphrasing these things. I'm roughly uh, mentioned, you know, giving reference to them. But, you know, and and. And it's the same thing that's going on now. These people ain't watching what's going on. They're not watching these prophecies, you know. So they're remaining in that, that coma that they're in. That's pretty much what it is. It's a damn coma, man. You know, a, a drug and let me a drug induced coma. And that drug is uh um America. <laughs> America, period. And everything that Babylon has to offer. That's what that drug is, that Babylonian juice, man. That yeah, Babylonian juice, which is laced with, um, with, <laughs> I can't even, the words are escaping me that these, like I said, these people are in a coma, you know, so they're waiting till that last moment. So they're thinking that, oh, we're, we're good. We're good. We're waiting till the last moment. So when all oh, hell, when, when trail, when tribulation visit us, we can cling on to them. You know, that's the terrible attitude to have, man. And that's exactly what they're doing. They're waiting for that last moment, thinking it's all good. It doesn't work out that way. It doesn't work that way, you know? <laughs> Fools, man. <laughs> that's why I love this picture here. Um, so, um, let me grab these scriptures here. I had another scripture here. So, here we are, Job 38 and 3. Gird up thy loins like a man, you know? Gird up thy loins like a man here. High time. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm not sure if it's one word or two words. Just scripture in Romans 13. Here we go. Romans 13 and 11. And that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. You know, so this ain't the, the 15, 16, 17, 1800s. This ain't the early 1900s, you know, where the prophecies and nothing was going on. The word wasn't being pushed out, you know. But we're, but according to the scriptures, uh, you know, when he reaches the, the heavens, when his, his cloud, when he, his, uh, his nest is on high, or, um, when... The time of Ava Bivens, that's when this word and these prophecies, and that's when everything started to kick into gear. You know, so here we are with the with the um the blessing of the internet, which is scriptural itself, the blessing of the internet. Jake is using the internet for foolishness, man. For you know, 
you know, the Jake using the internet to further um, uh, uh, comfort him in this in this coma that he's in. You know, <laughs> he's been programmed to you know to literally to ignore the the word, but to to use it the internet for like I said foolishness, straight up foolishness, man. They're not waking up out of that sleep. So they may be waking up to um, certain things like. They're he Hebrew Israelites. They're waking up to a lot of the atrocities and wicked and iniquity iniquities that this devil has and and still is doing to the people of the children of Israel. And they may be waking up to certain things, but they're not waking up to the full truth. You know, there are some that literally they hurt their Israelites and they're not even looking for anything. They're oblivious to what's going on in the world, man. That's most people. They're oblivious to what's going on in the world. So they ain't waking up to a damn thing. So in that, knowing the time, see, we know the time. That's the elect. We know that time, this time that we had, you know, we know this is that time, you know, all of us, you know, we know it's that time, you know, so we're moving with uh, urgency, you know, he that, what's the scripture? He that heareth runneth. We're moving with urgency, man, you know, serving the Lord, you know, and everything that comes with it, the, all the trials and tribulations that come, we're serving the Lord because what he's doing, he's trying us in that fire, you know, he's trying us in that fire. He's pretty much, he's cleaning our spirits up. He's cleaning us, you know, in, in, in all cases, he's cleaning us physically, spiritually and physically. You know, I mean, my physical that, you know, we, we, we changed our lifestyles, stopped doing certain things that was doomed to kill us, you know, and, and we changed our lifestyle into ways that's going to help prolong our lives here so we can, Lord willing, make it the hell up out of this goddamn place, man. You know, so the scripture says here, um, um, gird up thy loins like a man. It's only men that are waking up to this truth. It's only the, the elect men. Those, those That's what's considered a man. You know, the man that's uh, pushing his word in truth and sincerity. That's going out to the highways and about. That are filling up the gaps. You know? And not taking time, time off. You know? And listen, let me examine in this scripture. Gird up now thy loins like a man. Gird up. Be a man. Your strength, you know? You're a man. So it's it's time for you to to behave like it, you know. What's that loins? Let me see. If going to loins, not gird up. Gird strength. Here it is. Metaphoric of strength to gird gird on gird on. Metaphoric of strength. Be girded. Hold close. Clasps. You know. Gird a compass. Quip. Clothe. So um, I just want to show you that real quick. Here we go, loins, you know, testify, loins, testes, loins, same thing. <laughs> loins, loins, yeah. Yeah, seat of vir virility is girded, yeah, seat of pain, loins. Oops. Come on. Oops. The, the part of the body on both sides of the spine between the lowest ribs and hip bone, the region of the sexual organs, especially when regarded as the source of erotic or procreation power, so loins. Okay, loins. Same thing with your testes, with where testicles, where testifying come from, you know, to testify. You know, the large cut of meat that include the vertebrae of the loin. So the region of the sexual organs, especially when, when regarded as the source of erotic procreation power, procreative power. He felt a stirring in his loins at the thought. <laughs> so here we, there we go. The loins. So it's men who he's calling. He's calling men, you know, to testify. He's calling men to testify. 
you know. Oh, gird up, gird up now thy loins like a man, for I will demand, there you go, of thee and answer thou me. I will demand of thee. Demand, demand. You know, what are they, what's, what, what are they going to say in that day, man? What, what's going to be their excuse? They're not going to have one. What are they going to, and a lot of them are going to lie to the Lord to his face, man. You know? To ask, inquire, borrow and beg, to ask, ask for, to inquire of, consult, of deity and oracle, to seek. Okay. So we're there. Scriptures in Luke is, um, I command thee. What's that scripture? How does it go? Let's see if I can find it here. Let's see if I can find it. When he mentions that I was an honest here man. You know what I'm saying? When I mention when he mentioned he was an honest here man. No, that's not it. Not when he's mentioning he's an austere man. I'm my head, my brain is getting ahead of me. <laughs> oh, here we go. Um, um, Luke 14 and 21, 22, and 23. Luke 21, 22, and 23. Let me get it. So the servant, so that servant came and showed his Lord these things. Then the master of the house, being angry, said to his servant, Go out quickly into the street and lanes of the city and bring in hither the poor and the maimed, and the halt and the blind. And the servant said, Lord, it is done as thou hast commanded, and yet there is room. And the Lord said unto his, the servant, Go out into the highways and the hedges and compel them. And compel, that word compel is heavy. It's like a threat and a threat or a warning. Here, let me do this. And compel them. Well, you're, 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 you're speaking so rough. Why are you howling? Why are you shouting? You know, you can do it better. You can do it better. There's other ways to do it. <laughs> to necessitate. To ne ne Necessitate, compel, drive, to constrain. Let's look at this by force or threats, etc. <laughs> by force and threats. By other means. You see, they're so sensitive, man. These men are so so goddamn sensitive. So they go on defensive. They're not knowing. You you're going into defenses against your house, but Shimmy Al Shai, our Lord, you know, our Lord and our Savior, the, the true living power, you know. So that's who you're going in defense about. You're not going in def defense against us. You're going in defense against your house Shai, you know, the actual deliverer, the actual deliverer. So it says, and the Lord said unto the servant. Go out into the highways and hedges and compel them to come in. That my house may be filled. The house of David. That my house may be filled. Yeah. So, nope. They ain't got time for that. So I got a, a, a list of characteristics. A, a list of characteristics that a lot of these Jakes have. You know, when you actually look at it. A lot of them, man, being out there on the highways and the byways, the mass majority of the people just totally, the first one here is ignore, to not consider something 
or to not or to not let it influence you to not consider some just like I read this the other day. Luke one. I say Luke one Isaiah, the first chapter here. I'm going to get I'm not going to open pull it up here. A lot of these scriptures, I'm not just going to pull up. I'm just going to read them here out of my book. They don't even consider, you know, though it's nothing but wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Though it's nothing but fire. The word is fire, man. You know, the word is powerful and it's beautiful. You know, it's that new song. It's a new song that's been sung and they still, you know, they real, they still rather hear uh, the, the little crew, the crews of littles and, you know, babies and, you know, these niggas of the world that have no flavor or say don't anymore, that have no rhythm, you know, no, no message with substance. <laughs> you know, it says it, the ox knoweth his master. This is Isaiah one and three, the ox knoweth his master and the ass is his master's crib. But Israel doth not know my people doth not consider. They don't even consider, so they ignore it. So the masses and masses of our people that when we're out there in Ohio was in the Bible said just keep it going. You know. And so again, the number two, they put aside to not allow yourself to be affected by a problem, argument, etc., so that you can achieve something more important. So the word the world is more important to them. So they put everything aside. And you know, another thing is um put aside and write off to decide that someone or something will not succeed. And so to stop giving them your attention and energy, overlook to fail to notice or do something, neglect to fail to take care of place of a place, for example, a house or garden. All right, so check this out. The book of Ezekiel, let me pull it up. I'm gonna pull this up. Let me find it first. Let me see if I can find it first. I'll find it. My, I have 19 bulging discs and every once in a while, not just your back, your disc, you know, and your spine, everything, your, all the nerves run through your spine and it affects your fingers, especially the severe point, point where I, my body is. I just deal with it. I'm not going to be crying and complaining about it. You know, I'm telling you about it. I'm not crying and complaining about it. I'm just telling you about it. But I have 19 bulging discs and you got to understand the nerves that go in through these through your disc and like I said it these nerves work at one day your think my fingers and toes can be in pain another day I can feel like my shoulder disconnect disconnected or my or my knee or my back or my ribs man this is just crazy man so you want to talk about when to get the hell up out of here and get out of this raggedy ass body man Whew, Lord I'm dealing with it I'm dealing with it. let me find the scripture Days, how huh? the days I'm mentioning with Jake, Jake just put these days off, he put them off. It's in Ezekiel somewhere. Um, here we go, Ezekiel, the 16th chapter. Here, let me pull it up. Mm -mm. So I got the wrong chapter. <laughs> Give me a sec. I got the wrong chapter. I saw that word Proverbs. And this is an actual Proverbs that Jake is using. No more he's going to use this proverb. It's the um it's the uh it's the twelfth chapter. So like it. Here we go, Ezekiel 12. Okay, 21. Oh, this is beautiful. I'm gonna start at 19, Ezekiel 12 and 19. And say unto the people of the land, thus saith the Lord power of the inhabitants of Jerusalem and of the land of Israel, they shall eat 
their bread with carefulness and drink their water with astonishment that her land may be desolate from all that is therein because of the violence of all them that dwell therein. And the cities that are inhabited shall be laid waste and the land shall be desolate and ye shall know that I am the Lord, Yahweh. And the word of the Lord came unto me saying, Son of man, what is that proverb that ye have in the land of Israel saying the days are prolonged and every visit vision faileth and you even hear them scoffing like that old oh, year 2000 come around and nothing happened the year 2012 came around and nothing happened it's still going on with that man you know so they fall right back into the world they lose they lose faith or they never had faith in the first place you know tell them therefore thus saith the lord power i will make this proverb to cease and they shall no more use it as a proverb in Israel amongst Jake, amongst these niggas. But say unto them, the days are at hand and the effect of every vision. You see it happening, man. You see the you see the bears waking up. Gog and Magog. You see the bears waking up. You know. <laughs> you see the hooks being put in Gog and Magog's rush's mouth. It's just beautiful, man. You see all this technology with the, with these chips that are going to be uh, implanting these people's hands in their heads, man, in their brains, and their you know. You see it. You see this devil, devil beginning to make his work his miracles. You even seeing this devil working on his tech that he's going to use in the last days of what's it called, Project Blue Bean. You've seen all these examples of things going on. It's too much, too many wonderful things going on for you to, to ignore it. You know, it's far more fascinating to, to watch these things that are going on than anything that's going on in the world. These bitches are paid, played out, you know. These women shaking asses, everybody's shaking a stinking ass. That's just played out, man. You have no, you shouldn't even have that desire to keep um, spending hours on the internet and on in and out these bars and clubs chasing after these stinks, man. You know? <laughs> so everything that's going on in the real world as far as how about Shimmy How Shai go is far more interesting to watch. You know? Far more interesting. The chariots are popping up in in damn near everybody's damn driveway. <laughs> you know? It says tell it says, tell them therefore, thus said the Lord Power, I will make this proverb to cease, and they shall no more use it as a proverb in Israel, but say unto them, the days are at hand, and the effect of every vision, for there shall be no more any vain vision nor flattering divination within the house of Israel. For I am the Lord, Yahweh. I will speak, and the word that I shall speak shall come to pass. And that's exactly what we're doing, speaking it into action. You know, speaking it into action. So it's beautiful, man. And we give praise to Yahweh, but Shem Yahweh Shai, the water for that, for using us as those vessels, you know, to go out there and push this word, man. This is amazing, man. It's amazing. Okay. So let me go back to that. Okay. Neglect and disregard and turn off to tune out. To tune out. Put something down to experience or decide not to be affected by an unpleasant experience, you know, but to accept that such thing happened and cannot be avoided, you know, being marked, <laughs> being marked and that unpleasant experience waking up and really that unpleasant experience later you'll find realize that that unpleasant experience being cut and, and, and being corrected is actually a good thing. That's what you, and we know examples of that. People scoffing and coming against the word, but later on, you how about Shimmy, how about Shai, sup with them and woke them up. There are brothers that can attest to that, to bear witness to that, you know, to decide not to be affected by an unpleasant experience, but to accept that such things happen and cannot be avoided. Okay, zone, it says zone. To stop paying attention and just look in front of you without thinking, especially because you are tired, bored, or have 
taking drugs. Oh, if that's not an American, a, a nigga, you know, space to to not pay attention to someone or something because you are thinking tired or bored. Here we go. That's why I got this up here. Sheeple, the definite. You heard the people, we've referred to people as sheeple. You even hear, hear these Edomites and these uh, conspiracy theorists uh, referring to the people as sheeple. Sheeple mean people who are docile or compliant. Docile. Docile. Ready to accept control or instruction, not instruction and righteousness on the right hand side from Yahweh Bashim Yahashar, but from this damn devil, man. And that's from um Stockholm Syndrome, uh cap or capture bonding. You know, you're 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 captured by your captures and you um, and you and you, you you know you grow a bond with them. You know, you get close and, and you start to love them. Capture bonding. Okay, control or instruction or submissive. So just go back again. Or compliant or easily influenced. People like attention sheep was easily influenced. So they believed it like bullshit of Christianity and you know, and and, and deny the, the actual truth of this word. Inclined to agree with others or obey or or obey rules. Especially to an excessive degree. <laughs> acquiescent Acqui acquiescent so there's a lot of these sheep oh man a lot of the sheep are uh, is going to be uh, led to the slaughter ooh A lot of these, a lot of them gonna be led to the slaughter. They're men, their children, man. Am I spelling it? Yay. And for thy sake are we killed all the day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. <clears throat> Let's read this Isaiah 53 and 7. Let's see where that goes. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned every one to his own way, and the Lord have laid on him the iniquity of us all he was oppressed and he was afflicted yet he opened not his mouth he is brought as a lamb to the slaughter and as a sheep before her shears is dumb so he openeth not his mouth he was taken from the prison and from judgment Speaking of you, how was shy? Okay, I don't want to show. Um, oh well, Isaiah sixty-five and twelve. Therefore, will I number you to the sword? And ye shall all bow down to the slaughter, because when I called, ye did not answer. 
When I spake, ye did not hear, but did evil before my eyes. You know, it's evil to ignore the Lord. It's an evil, that's an evil thing to ignore the Lord. So he's going to, wouldn't that piss you off? Imagine your child, you're, you're calling your child and he's ignoring you. He's sitting right there and he's ignoring you. Man, I would lock, knock the living shit out of that little boy, man. You know, <laughs> imagine that you calling your son and he's ignoring you. I ain't got to answer him. Yeah, I ain't got to answer him. I got, I got better, man. I'm, hold on. I, let me, let me finish this game real quick. Imagine that. Hold on. Hold on. Let me finish. You know, I'm in the middle of something right now. I'm about to, you know, imagine that. Nucky dumbass is sitting at their table at the computer playing their video games and <laughs> Imagine that. Man, I'll throw a chair at that little motherfucker, man. So, but did evil before my eyes and did choose that wherein I delighted not. So, oh, let me continue reading though. Therefore, thus said the Lord Power, behold, my servants shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. My servants. His, who is the servants? The prophets. And who are the servants? The prophets, the ones that are filling up the gaps on the highways and the byways. It's simple. It's simple. My servants shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servants shall drink. Hold on. Let me do this. Your servant. My servants. Slave or servant, slave, servant, man. We're, we're, we're actually um prisoners of this word. You know, slave, servant, man, servant, subjects. Okay, servants, worshippers of Yahweh, but Shem Yahweh Shai, worshippers. Serving in a special sense as prophets, Levites. And we're all Levites now. And spiritual Levites of Israel, servants of Israel. You know, we embrace that, that name, you know, being Hebrew Israelites. We embraced it when we first found that out. You know, as far as the truth, the truth, we embraced it. You know, I knew I was an Israelite back in, what was that, 88, 89. I think it was in 89, to be more specific. But I didn't, you know, I wasn't taught the actual full truth. You know. Um. So the servants. It's kind of, you know, but it's the Lord's will to wake you up when he wants to wake you up. You know, like I said, just waking up to being a Hebrew Israelite. Like I said, I knew I was a Jew. Put it that way. I knew I was a Jew. And we're Israelite. No, didn't come out. I didn't know anything about the Israelite or whatever. I knew I was a Jew. All right. You see what that didn't, that didn't, me waking up and knowing that I was a Jew I was still living in air until the summer of 07, between 0089, and that's a that's a lot of years. That's how many years is that? Uh 17, 18 years before I was woke up. 18 years. <laughs> Those whole 18 years, I was a goddamn fool, an idiot, a, a demon of the world, man. You know? So there's much more to it than just waking up. You Israelites and imagine those that are waking up. Uh, oh, we're we're the, we're black Hebrew Israelites and still living in fucking error. Still living in error. <laughs> you know, so I can relate to that one. So it says, "When I because when I called, you did not answer. When I spake, you did not hear. But did evil in my eyes and did choose that where and I delighted not." Oh, I was, I was in verse 13. Behold, my servants shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servants shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. So I'm going to end it there. So uh, hope you're edified. Until next time, Lord willing, Shalom.